Hello everyone, welcome back in Cool IT Help and this is another Java FX video tutorial on table view. In this tutorial, I will tell you how to implement the select all feature. As you can see on my screen, example is running and here I have implemented the select all checkbox button. You can see on the right hand side top, when you select this checkbox so all the records which are present in your table view will be selected and you will be able to proceed to do some action with the selected records if you want to unselect you can proceed for the unselect it also has a features if you want to select individual regards and after that if you want to select all you can proceed with that so all cases are considered with a very simple code implementation I will describe you here in this video tutorial session let's get it started so first I will close this stage and I will show you the setup here in the left hand side you can see in the project explorer tab we have this example ready and this is simple fxml based project okay and in this project we have one fxml file one controller file and this is the file which has a start method okay and person is a bean you can say this is the data model that is storing the records okay first I will show you the fxml what arrangements I have made in this fxml so here is the fxml that I have used in this example and this is very simple I will explain you from here the important controls are table view and we have the table column name table column age table column email and table column select and all these columns are assigned with a fx id okay fx id name then fx id age then fx id email and the fx id for the select column in which we will put our check boxes so all these things done here in this fxml and these are the two buttons that i have used so you can do your further action on the selection so i'm not describing the delete functionality or print functionality here i will cover only the select functionality if you want to uh, add the delete features for the selected record so guys just watch my previous video on this and the link is given in the description you can get and watch that and you will be able to get the code from there and integrate with this example so you will get the full fledged running code okay now i'm going to minimize this one okay so we have seen the fxml now i'm taking you inside the controller file okay here's the controller file the main logic is implemented here in the controller file it's very simple this is the fx id for the table view and this is the reference variable so we will use this object in this controller file then we have the table columns name age email action column okay after that we have uh, used one checkbox let me show you this is the checkbox select value select all value so fx id is select all and here is the fx id for after that we have prepared the observable list this list is prepared to put some data inside the table view that's why we have created and guys uh, the person this is the data model this is the bean which will store our data for the table rows let me show you this file class file person.java you can see this is very simple we have these properties name age email and this is the checkbox we have the constructor with the help of the constructor we will create the row and we will put inside the table view that's why we have used this constructor here okay and these are the getter setter properties okay i hope you are clear if you have seen my previous video on the table view now I'm going back inside the fxml controller this is our fxml controller there is no use of this code because uh, this code is automatically created when we have created the project fxml based project in the NetBeans okay so the main code is written inside the initialize method so watch it carefully it's very simple so before this I will show you one thing 
so how we have created the data rows so this is the fx collections dot observable list and here observable list we have prepared some data with the help of person class constructor name age email id and the blank we are passing the blank string but we are not using here in the constructor let me show you the constructor you can see name last name sorry this is age and let me rename this age and the value but we are not using this value because we have the checkbox in the last column okay rest of the things are clear to you okay now going back in the controller so we have prepared the observable list data object and then we have associated the value factory with the columns this is the column name set cell value factory and the property so this column value is associated with the first name and this is the age okay let me show you the age this is the property here age okay and this is for the email here's the email and then we have remark that means we have used the checkbox for this one you can change the name no worry so we have associated the cell value factory with the column after that we have added this observable list in the table view so we have table view populated with the data rows that's it now the main implementation is happening at this place we have added one change listener to our checkbox the select all checkbox okay so the core implementation is we are associating a change listener with the select all checkbox if any change occur with this checkbox then we will perform the desired action okay now going back inside the controller file it's simple you can see this is the way select all dot selected properties that means we are going to associate the listener to the selection property that's why we have selected this selection property then add listener okay once you click this automatically code will be added and uh, it will be generated okay so then you have to write this code inside your this changed method okay rest of the thing will be appear automatically you don't need to worry about this what we have done we have simply fetching the records from the table view that we have populated we are getting table records and items is a observable list okay we are collecting the person item in observable list okay this is items and then we have executed one loop and fetching one item a time okay one by one and we are checking select all is selected if we have selected our uh, select all box check box then select all the items else make it false that means unselected if you are going to unselect the select all check box that means i am telling here let me minimize this so you will be able to correlate the all the stuff suppose in the fxml you have this select all if you are going to uh, select you going to check it then this code will executed if you unchecked this code will be executed because we have added the change listener to this select all check box we have added a listener to this select all any activity checked or unchecked will result the execution of this changed method and we have a logic placed here in it okay that's why we are handling check and uncheck of the table view records okay i hope you guys clear on this if you have doubts so please comment i will try my best to reply as soon as possible this code is very simple now i'm going to run and i will show you the cases okay i have to uh, 
I have done simple changes so I will take a clean build one more time then I will execute this. This is the main code. Okay, uh, build is successful. Now I'm ready to run. Here we go. So we have this stage, we have the table view and the records are added inside the table view. Now I will show you. Selected, all records are selected. Unselected, all records are unselected. It's working perfectly fine. And now uh, I will show you one more case in which you have selected the records individually. You can proceed for the individually selected records. Okay. If you want suddenly to select all the all the rows, then you can go here and select it all. And suppose you want to unselect, you can unselect it. So this select and unselect is working perfectly fine because we have added the change listener to this checkbox. I hope you guys found this video useful. Please like this video and subscribe my channel or you can press the bell icon. You will get the latest video updates on time. And guys, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.